So the day we were supposed to leave on this trip, I got an email from Tooth of the Arrow and they were gonna send me a pack of three new broadheads to try out um, and then do a review on them. And I knew I wouldn't get the package before we left, but I knew you were gonna be using them on this trip anyway. You had already been shooting them and practicing with them. So I ordered a new pack myself and I'm gonna give them a try when I get back. But this is the results from this trip. Well, it was a successful morning. It was a great day to be on the mountain elk hunting. We were going to pack out today and the elk started bugling and we started chasing again one more time before we left the mountain. And yeah, I'm, I'm shooting tooth of the arrows. This is my first year using them. And uh, so far I've been very, very happy. Uh, this spring I went on a pig hunt, a wild pig hunt, and I tried them. And uh, uh, they're very deadly. They, <laughs> it was a quick kill. You know, good shot, quick kill. And uh, so I brought them along on this elk hunt and I'm shooting the uh, vented uh, 100 grain. They're only 100 grain, but uh, I shot this elk at about 40 yards and uh, that was, there's where I hit them and it left a pretty devastating hole in the tooth of the arrow. What's, what's the cutting diameter? Well, it, it's uh, one inch, uh, so it's actually four inch diameter cutting, is what they say. Um, so each of these sticks out an inch, an on, inch each, yep. on each side. So one inch times four, so it's supposed to be a four inch cut. I left a pretty good channel. Yeah. He, did, he didn't bleed a lot though. He, he did initially like the first yeah. 100 yards, and then, then there wasn't a lot of blood. And I don't I'd, know, I think, well, right here's the other half of the arrow, so and you got penetration pretty much, I don't know, three see, quarters of the way. here probably anyway. And I think the other half is probably still lodged in him. Yeah, yeah. But we hit him high, so I think he, that's one reason he didn't bleed as much, but. One of the nice things about their arrows is that they have, my understanding is that there's 90% of the broadhead weight is right in line with the shaft. And then the other 10% is distributed through each of the, Cutting blades Cutting there. Cutting blades, yeah. So you get a lot of penetration and it flies true with all that weight right in line with the shaft is my understanding. Yeah. I guess I was practicing with them out to 60 yards and they were shooting pretty nice for me. I, I don't have a lot of experience between the, the solids versus the vented. The vented, uh, I don't know, Some I've heard some reviews they may be a little noisier, but I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> well, I ordered the solid ones, so yeah, hopefully so I, I get a chance to use them. I'm anxious to try them, uh, well, pig hunting, elk hunting, and now I'd like to try them on whitetail. So, so far I can't complain. When I bought mine, purchased mine, I bought the, the file for sharpening too, so that comes in very handy. I sharpened all my broadheads before my trip out here, and I see the a little rusty this morning. Uh, that's because we got caught in the rain all day yesterday. So I guess that just happens with the metal broadhead, but a little run across the file, be ready to go again. Well, he went about 300 yards, I'd say, wouldn't you? Mm, yeah, 250 maybe. Not right in there, yep. But he was hurting. He stopped after 100 yards and just stood there for five minutes and then we just kind of slowly watched him walk off. Yeah. We gave him about an hour and he was dead as a doornail when we got here. Yep. So. Can't complain about him. Very, very pleased with Tooth of the Arrow. I'm going to continue shooting him. So I came out here today to do a little practice shooting. Um, thought I'd try out these Tooth of the Arrow broadheads that I got. They're brand new right out of the pack. I was shooting with the field tips, those were flying pretty good at 20 yards, so I'm just going to throw on a brand new Tooth of the Arrow broadhead. This is the S series, the solid series, there's solid series or vented series. Uh, my understanding is the vented series just flies a little bit better at longer distances, less wind drift. Um, solid series probably packs a little bit more punch just because they're it's one solid piece. And these broadheads are all one solid piece anyway. but. Uh, just without the venting, there's a little bit more to it, to the broadhead. So I figured for whitetails back home, um, wouldn't be shooting real far distances. So I went with the solid series. 
So anyway, I filled up a milk jug full of water. I'm gonna shoot my very first shot out of that. First shot with the broadhead at that, see how they fly and just kind of wanted to see what kind of hole they make. More experimental than anything. But thought I'd film it and show you guys what happens. So we'll do that right now.